cosmic terror in miniature, an atom-sized black hole. Imagine this. You're in your room, perhaps reading a book or listening to music. Suddenly, without warning, a black hole the size of an atom materializes. It sounds like something out of science fiction, a cosmic horror too small to see, but with the potential for unimaginable destruction. But what would actually happen if such an anomaly appeared? The answer, as we'll explore, is both fascinating and terrifying. The incredible density of an atom-sized black hole. Don't let the size fool you. A black hole, even one as small as an atom, possesses an unfathomable amount of mass. We're talking about compressing a mass comparable to Mount Everest into a space smaller than the smallest thing we can see with a microscope. This incredible density creates a gravitational pull so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. This extreme gravity is the source of a black hole's destructive power. Anything that gets too close, whether it be light matter or even time itself, is inexorably drawn in. Spaghettification, stretching towards oblivion. One of the most intriguing and horrifying aspects of black holes is the phenomenon known as spaghettification. This occurs due to the extreme tidal forces present near a black hole's event horizon, the point of no return. Imagine a spaceship approaching a black hole. The gravitational pull on the spaceship's nose would be significantly stronger than the pull on its tail, stretching it out like spaghetti. The same principle applies to any object, including a human body. The difference in gravitational force across the length of your body would be immense, stretching you out atom by atom in a process that, thankfully, would be too quick to experience. The human body's final bow to extreme gravity. In the unlikely event that an atom-sized black hole appeared in your room, you wouldn't even realize what hit you. The black hole's gravitational pull, while immense, would be localized. It wouldn't suck up the whole room or even a significant portion of it. Instead, it would interact with your body at an atomic level. The atoms closest to the black hole would be drawn in first, followed by the next layer, and so on. This process would happen incredibly fast, likely faster than the speed of nerve impulses. You wouldn't feel any pain, wouldn't even have time to register the event. A voracious appetite consuming matter atom by atom. Despite its minuscule size, the atom-sized black hole in your room wouldn't remain static. It would begin consuming the surrounding matter starting with the air around it. As it devours more and more matter, its mass and gravitational pull would increase, albeit at an incredibly slow rate. This process would continue until the black hole evaporated through Hawking radiation, a theoretical process where black holes emit particles due to quantum effects. However, the timescale for the evaporation of an atom-sized black hole is unimaginably long, far longer than the current age of the universe. A phantom menace, the unlikelihood of atom-sized black holes. The good news, if you can call it that, is that the scenario we've been discussing is highly improbable. According to our current understanding of physics, the creation of black holes requires an immense amount of energy concentrated in a tiny space. While particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider can create conditions of extreme energy density, they are nowhere near capable of generating black holes, especially not ones the size of an atom. Furthermore, even if such a black hole were to be created, it would evaporate almost instantaneously due to Hawking radiation. So, while the idea of an atom-sized black hole appearing in your room is a fascinating thought experiment, it's a scenario that is firmly rooted in the realm of science fiction rather than scientific reality.